So after two years, our first light bulb is finally S the B. And uh, it's not exposing screens anymore and it's having an arc error. It's um, probably about ready to explode. So we opened up the manual to see how to replace it. According to the directions, we need to disconnect the equipment from the electrical power. What are you doing? Pulling the front panel off so we can get to the light. There's two screws, two bolts here. Once they're off, it should just pop open. Oh, baby, baby! If there's something, there's something under here like this. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's hidden behind the handle. It's a Phillips. Okay. Removing the secret screw. Hidden behind the handle of the reflector assembly. So we can access the damaged light bulb and replace it with the new guy. So this just slides out? Yeah, slide it out. Oh yeah. But the wires are pulling at it, so I'm not gonna pull it too Ready, far. just hold it, I'll go grab the light bulb. So we got this replacement light from Caprock, and when you open the box, they have a warning. And it teaches you the correct way to install the bulb so it doesn't explode. And one of the things it says, if you can see that in focus, don't touch it with your hands, because oil from your hands will make the lamp blow up. And they send you a glove. You wanna grab that glove? Oh, you got two gloves. As you can see, the gloves fit perfectly. For, uh, you know, one size fits absolutely everybody in the universe. And then the light bulb is wrapped in bubble wrap. So we're gonna take this out and slam it in and replace that guy. So one thing the manual said too, monthly, with these units, you're supposed to be cleaning the reflector plate. But our shop's not super dirty. So there's barely anything on there at all. And that's probably just metal dust. It's too fat. This is a nice shot. It's pretty in focus. This is this is sick. This is sick. Oh, there we go. Don't need it. Don't need a screwdriver. So addendum, screwdriver. You don't need it. Just pops right off. Pops These right little off. fins here on the side. And this is what a dead bulb looks like. This is our dead bulb. We've used it for two years every day, and it's got a lot of black fog in there. And uh, if your bulb's dying, you'll notice when, after an exposure, it kind of glows super red, but really, really cloudy. And this looks like crap. So we're gonna go with this nice new bulb. So for right now, we'll just maybe save that as a spare in case this other one dies. But remember, when you handle the new bulb, make sure you have a glove on both hands to protect the glass from the oils on your fingers. These bulbs have a fill tip when they're, when they're made at the factory. It's where the glass goes in. You have this little nipple right here, which is the end of the mold, and the directions say to mount that pointing up. Um, I assume that it has something to do with the heat and pressure of the gas in the bulb when it's under load. Yeah. Picture of it. So we're just gonna slide these guys on again. How does that uh, hold the bulb? Is it just kind of like pressure fins? Yeah, they're, they're just pushing squeezing. Cool. It's in pretty tight. So this is a really easy fix that we did in all of five minutes. If we weren't filming this, we'd already be exposing screens again. So that's that, it's in. There's two little little slider, whatever you call them there. It's two little trays. It's like, like a, a tray. Track. Yeah, it's two little tracks that should just catch this as I slide it back in. And it just sits in and you slide it. Once it's all the way in, there's a small screw that I took out before that's just gonna go directly up to hold it in. They call it a shipping screw. It's probably just so it doesn't rattle around. I bet we don't even have to put it back in. No, probably not. Let's not then. No. Did it feel like it's... It's in there. Yeah. It's not going anywhere unless yeah. this thing like... Has no, I mean, it's not going to rattle around. So, but what if we lose it? Oh, and then we move. Uh, and yeah, it blows true. up. Yeah. We'll put it back in because we're going to grow into a bigger shop and have to move it. Yeah, that would be just like us to forget. Not buy a backup light, move. Go to our new shop, the exposure unit's smashed and toasted. 
and then we have to use the sun and flashlights to expose screens. This is a real man's tool. It's pretty much like the best tool we have in the shop because things get a little dusty around here, so just go in and clean it up. Get it in. The manual does say that you're supposed to clean out the reflector uh, monthly, but ours wasn't that dirty. But all you have in here is there's fans to keep all this stuff cool. So if you're a really dusty shop, it's just sucking in everything. And the bottom tray of this is pretty dusty and we've never done it before, so we figured we'd give it a go. So we've replaced the light bulb, we've cleaned out the dust on the inside, and now we're just putting on the outside case and we're gonna do a test exposure. All right, so we got our bulb replaced, the power's back in, the unit is on. We're just gonna try and rocket test exposure and see if it fires. There she is. All right, looks like we're all set. So now we're gonna do a couple uh, exposure tests with our calculator and see if this bulb differs from what our settings were before it exploded. And uh, yeah, so thanks for joining us on this adventure. One last glove shot. One last glove shot. There it is.